Hey guys, coming to you from Thor Fiber and Thor Broadcast. Today I'm going to show you our four channel HDMI encoder modulator and how to set it up. Super easy, super fast. The unit I am talking about at ThorBroadcast.com is our most popular HDMI encoder modulator. And as you can see here, it has two RJ45 ports on the front. One is for NMS and the other one is for data, which is your IPTV streaming output. So you want to connect your NMS port to your computer or a switch. And then you want to connect that to your computer. First, got to make sure you're on the same subnet. So if you just run a simple terminal command and check what subnet your PC is on. Here you can see I'm set up already. And if you don't know how to change that, you just go to your network settings, adapter options, properties, here you go. I'm set up on dot one. However, I added a second IP address for dot zero subnet. All right, it's that easy. If you need some help with that, please let our engineers know. You can always contact them down here. Just put in your name, information, message, and send us a message, and we'll be happy to help you out. So you can go through any browser. You find that. Firefox Mozilla works the best. Oh, it's supposed to be dot zero straight from the factory. And here we have the login terminal. Put in your username and password. And this is our splash screen. So I took a stock unit and just plugged in four HDMI sources. You see how it's running here. Each one has about 18 megs set up already on our frequencies here. So I'm going to show you a couple options what's inherently built in. And this is a simple configuration page for each of the one and two inputs. You can see here, you can change your HDMI component composite, MPEG-2 or H.264, your aspect ratio, your load delay. Mode one is gonna be the fastest mode for encoding speeds. That's gonna be used for all your live sports. Uh, these encoders are used in the NASCAR field, Major League Baseball, so on and so forth. Uh, anything live, event oriented like concerts and house of worship. Closed captioning will work with HDMI on 608, which is analog. Uh, going down here, you can pick your audio format, whether it's MPEG-2, AC3, or pass-through. Uh, keep going down, you see how your output enabled, uh, depending on how many streams you want per QAM frequency. And I'll show you how to go into that a little bit further down the road. Uh, here you can see that we set up a program name as Disney. You can set up any one you want. So the TVs in your space will actually show you what is on each channel. You go to second input. This is going to be for inputs three and four. Same setup. You can see how they're running independently of each other. These are four independent encoders. Going down further, NIT table options if that's needed in your particular project. Virtual channels is great if your QAM frequencies are not linear and you need to place them in different areas of your spectrum. You guys can create your own virtual channels, which is really cool. Your IP output is going to be for sending IP data through your network, UDP and RTP. Uh, just make sure, again, your service IP for your data output is on a different subnet. You can see here it's dot two while I'm running on dot zero currently. And lastly, the modulator will show you how to set it up. Uh, here you can see that we're putting all four outputs from our inputs at the same time. Just make sure you set it up correctly for the country you're in. We do offer these devices globally uh, in QAM, ATSC, ISDBT, DVBT. Uh, so just make sure you order the correct one. Uh, and here you can see you can set it up on any four channels you want. We're going to go back and set these up on two, three, four, and five. And that's how easy it is to set up your own CATV QAM channels with any HDMI input devices. So if you go back to your original splash screen, you can see how now these are going to be encoding onto channels 2, 3, 4, and 5. All right, guys. Well, thanks for stopping by. Uh, hopefully, if you have any questions, reach out to us, uh, and we'll see you soon.